hi guys welcome back to my channel as always we are doing the first impression we are trying out the new foundation for makeup revolution is the conceal and hydrate foundation really not sure too much about this foundation i know it's for dry skin and i really want to try it out i know i'm not sure if you guys know about old foundations but this is the conceal and define and the new one is conceal and hydrate same bottle just different printing on it i was looking for 13.5 they have it in the old formula I'm missing a few shades in the new foundation this one here is f13 and i picked up f14 we are missing f13.5 i'm not sure why we're missing foundation shades what i like about this foundation this one here comes with a pump which is much better i also picked up the concealer you guys know i'm a big fan of makeup revolution concealers and i want to try it out with the foundation as well so i picked up f13 so this one here is f13 this is for dry skin and it is a medium to full coverage i don't want to use any primer in this video i just have a little moisturizer on my face as always now this one here is f14 i tried this out of the store i'm not really sure if this is gonna work but we are just gonna see yeah it's a little bit runny 14 is too dark i know that so i'm gonna mix a little bit with 13 Okay, and I'm just gonna put that on the side, mix together. And I'm just gonna mix it. Like it has a smell, but not that bad. Now this is very light and it smells much better than the old foundation. The old foundation had a really strong smell. I don't know if you guys ever tried that foundation. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. This here is a medium coverage. So I'm gonna put a little bit more to get a full. If I had 13.5, it would have worked better and I don't have to buy two shades and i really don't like buying two shades this is like 24 dollars for both shades just to get just to wear it actually so if you guys want to try this foundation out make a revolution have it for 12 dollars and also has it for eight dollars they have a promotion right now if you guys want to try it out but i would advise you guys to go to the store and really swatch those foundation out and try to get your shade because like i said in the beginning we are missing shades this is how the foundation looks like after 20 minutes it's really not a bad foundation this may be my shade it looks okay but i'm not quite sure yet let me know in the comments what you guys think about this shade i'd like to hear you guys feedback on this it is a full coverage foundation it feels really lightweight on my skin we're gonna try out the concealer so all these products are vegan if you guys are wondering then i'm gonna take that sponge and just blend that out it's gonna stop right here I'm just trying something new okay so it blends out really nice all the other concealers that I've used from makeup revolution they all blend out nice I just want to see how it holds up so I'm gonna be using this powder this is from Maybelline this is the fit me loose finishing powder Like if you guys don't want to spend too much on setting powder this is a good brand blends really nice under the eyes if you guys could see and then i'm gonna go in with my juvia's place blush i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that dark shade and contour but i'm gonna be using this powder this is from clinique I really do like the finish of this foundation and the concealer together. I think I forgot to even mention to you guys how many foundation available. The darkest shade in this foundation is 16.5. Now I'm not really sure why Makeup Revolution only come up with 16 shades. I really would advise you guys if you want to try this foundation out, don't buy it online. I went to Ulta to try to get a sample for this foundation to try it out and they don't give samples so I had to buy this foundation to try it out for you guys. I'm not sure how it's going to hold up and of course I'm gonna give you guys a wear test because I don't got nothing to do today so I'm just gonna chill relax and just see how this foundation works out I am getting a full coverage not a medium if you are my skin shade 
14 and 13 is gonna work for you I had the same issue with the Fenty foundation it did separate on my nose now this one it looks like it will do the same we are gonna see how this foundation holds up throughout the day the time now is 1 22 p.m. so I'm gonna leave it on maybe until 5 o'clock and then we're gonna check in and maybe around 7 again but so far it is a beautiful foundation it holding up really nice let me just see over here to make sure that my foundation blends the same way with my hairline so it don't look kind of funny so this is how the foundation looks like after four hours of wear the time now is 5 or 7 p.m i like the finish this is actually my shade i could think i could use this foundation i get more of a full coverage not a medium coverage i seen a little glow but not too much but i'm gonna see you guys in the next two hours you guys my final review on this foundation the time now is 7:23. So it's been seven hours. So this foundation holds up really good. I was not expecting that. I'm happy with the shade that I picked up. These two shades works pretty good for my skin. This foundation is a beautiful finish okay <laughs> it's full coverage it looks so good it looks hydrating it looks flawless the concealer is a beautiful concealer nothing different from the other one my under my eyes are very very dry so this is gonna work very good the new bottle is just a little taller you guys see the difference but they are the same price they work the same if you guys really take a look at my face it's covers everything really beautiful my nose is separated from the foundation but that's about it i think i'm just going to only stick to this foundation because it's a little more cheaper than the fenty and the pat mcgrath i love this if you guys want it check out the alto website or makeup revolution website they have testers you can swatch them play around with the shades let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this foundation i highly recommend this foundation for dry skin you guys are gonna love it if you guys want to stay on a budget this is for you if you guys want to get the high end go ahead but i'm sticking to this thank you guys so much i will see you guys in my next video bye